Merry Christmas! <laughs>
Wow, it's dry. Mm. Oh man, that bread's dry. It's got a funny texture to it as well. That'll be the lack I, of gluten. I was going to say, I wonder if that's because it's gluten free. The filling itself is quite nice. The filling's okay. A decent amount of stuffing and turkey. I wonder if we needed to leave these come up to room temperature a wee bit longer, but... Uh, I mean, they're quite generous. The bread's very fragile. Mm. I would agree. I think the bread... I've never, I don't think I've ever had gluten-free bread before, so I don't really I'm, know... <clears throat> I'm not sure. Whether that's a good bread or not. I like the seeds. Mm. Mm hmm But it is less labour intensive than a firm sandwich though. So, you know, if you don't like chewing very much, gluten free bread is the way to go. This is true. But yeah, okay. See I quite it's not bad. Bread aside. I quite like that. It's your traditional Christmas supermarket sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Where, where would you like to visit next? Well, I think if we're sticking with tradition... Okay. I think we should take a trip to Waitrose. For your... Is it, are we pigs under blankets? We're not pigs in blankets. So this is pigs under blankets. Okay. This has come from a viewer suggestion. They are absolutely raving about this, apparently. I thought it was Morrison's that they were... Morrison's pigs under blankets. Or was it Waitrose? I believe it was Waitrose. Okay. And I have just about got over our hundred pigs in blankets. <laughs> I, I'm I'm still digesting, even though I ate considerably less than you. It does look to be a very well filled one. Better be for the price. Well, this is also true. So, mine will put, oh, it's, it's, it, there's all this cranberry again. Cranberry is the flavour of Christmas, We're, isn't it? Yeah. So what have we actually got in here? So in here we have a sandwich made with pork sausage, cranberry, yep. red currant chutney, oh. smoked bacon and mayonnaise on sliced malted bread. It's in, I do like a malted bread. Yes, this is very true. So... This is in 509 calories, so... So they have been more generous with the um, cranberry on this one. The sausage distribution is a little off, however. Yeah, I mean, it is a little... The mayonnaise and cranberry together looks weird. Mm. If you like cranberry sauce, you're going to like this. It is very heavy on the cranberry. Mm. Which is fine, I don't mind that. It's a good sausage though. It is a good quality banger. Yeah, it is a good sausage. The bacon, I think, gets a bit lost. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting sausage, a lot of sausage over mm. bacon. <clears throat> Sorry, I can hear a funny noise. Mm. Is it out there? Yeah, I'm not. Again, that I like that. It's different... not very festive. Don't you think? I think if I could taste the bacon more, it would be more festive. To me, it just tastes like a sausage sandwich with a bit of cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> the cranberry is the only hint of festiveness that I get from it. What do you You seem to have an awful lot more bacon in yours. Oh, do I? Yeah. What What do they describe the bacon I'm, as? Oh, you've got nothing in that There's one. no more bacon left in mine. Smoked bacon, whereas the bacon in the other one was maple cured. So I don't yeah. know whether the preparation of it varies. 
Who knows? Mm. Yeah, you seem to have a lot of bacon in yours compared to mine. Uh -huh, but I didn't have very much. It's very discreet. Okay. Yeah. Although the good thing is the um, I find that the cranberry is getting lost a lot as well, which is always like I say, I will forever say it. I, I'm not a fan of cranberry or the sweets in. I think the problem we've got is distribution. Mm. Because I had quite a lot of cranberry and I could taste it really strongly. Because look, I've got layers of bacon there. I definitely didn't have layers of bacon. Mm. And the sausage distribution was a bit yeah. weird. So I think it's a nice sandwich. It's been well thought out, just not very well made. Oh, wow. So that's enough of the meats for the minute. Do we need... Yes, let's go veggie. Let's we? go veggie. It's not vegan. Oh, no, it won't be vegan if it's got cheese in it. No. Well, not this sort of cheese. No. It's not vegan cheese. Because this has come all the way from Asda. This is a malted bread and French brie cheese sandwich with cranberry and port sauce, spinach and seasoned mayonnaise. Oh. I'm not sure what constitutes seasoned mayonnaise. Isn't it usually just like black pepper? Mm. I bet there's like sage in it or something. I mean, when you look at the list of ingredients, there doesn't appear to be much beyond, like, mustard seeds, black pepper. I bet that, that is it. That is probably it. <laughs> it has been handmade with quality ingredients, we're told. Okay, so the distribution should... I know, 470 calories. Um, this is still quite heavy. Okay. Uh... Going for lengths. There is a lot of spinach here. I'm glad you've got a lot of spinach. Would you like some? Mine, mine appears to be hiding. <clears throat> okay. okay. Again, th this one's a bit thin on ingredients. It is a bit sad. It is a little bit sad on the inside. Either I've got COVID. Oh wow. Or I can't really taste the cheese. I've bitten through everything this is weird. and now I've got the cheese just right at the end. The cheese is quite subtle. The cram what was it? What's this cranberry stuff? I don't know. I can't even see the mayonnaise. Cranberry and port sauce. Um, that tastes more like strawberry jam. Um, I do appear to be missing I my mayonnaise. I think your mayonnaise is on that side of the bread. I think they've halved and halved and I can't... Oh, they have. Yes, there is... And it just looks like mayonnaise with black pepper in it. There is traces of mayonnaise. Hear me out. Hmm toasted I think that's what would make this better is if it was toasted mm. because I think fresh out the fridge which is let's be honest that's how you would eat it that's how these are designed to be eaten food on the go I'm not really I'd, the cheese I mean, is very subtle controversial is this actually brie because brie's got a particular flavour. I mean, it says that it's brie on the front. It does, and it says it in the ingredients. It's not it not a very strong brie. It does say, oh, it does say leave out the fridge for 20 minutes before eating as filling will be better at room temperature. I mean, it's I mean, been... To be fair, it's been out 20 minutes. It's been a considerable time. Yeah. It's probably taken us about 20 minutes to get everything set up and we've eaten two sandwiches prior. Yeah. So it's definitely been out 20 minutes. Do you know what though? It's not unpleasant. It's disappointing. I mean, it's not often, I, if I go for a meal deal, I'm going to go for the most expensive items so I can get the most expensive, the best, the best premium Although we've learned that premium doesn't necessarily, or price doesn't necessarily um, relate to quality. Yes, we've learned um, that with the re most recent edition of our um, Mince Pie Monday. Yeah, but I find that whenever anyone goes for a meal deal, if you if you're a you you want to get 
more for less. And uh, so I'm probably going to go for something that's more expensive in terms, because I can't remember how much we paid for that sandwich, but no, if it's not got meat in it, or it's got, got a, but then again, Brie's a premium ingredient, so it yeah. might, but Brie's nothing, it's the cranberry again that puts me off. Cranberry in port is not great. <clears throat> Please tell me there's not cranberry in this. Oh, there's bound to be. So, um, this is the Tesco Yule Hog Wrap. Excuse me. I think they win points for having a decent title. Yeah. Rather than just turkey sandwich. So this is a pulled, this is pulled pork in hickory star marinade. Rosemary and turkey gravy mayonnaise. Yes. That's winning. Uh, Kentish cider apple sauce, lettuce, sage and onion stuffing and fried onions. Now this could be a winner. What, because it doesn't mention cranberry sauce? Well, that's one of the reasons. I am looking forward to this one, to be fair. It is 476 calories. So, it's not the most expensive. No. Okay. That's as far as it will open, so that's... I can never get these wraps out. Are you in? You're in. Fabulous. So, an idea. That's a nice, nice split. Although my bottom is very, I'm, I've, I'm quite. The, there seems to be a lot of air in my wrap. Yeah, I've got a lot of air along the back. Yeah. So, I'm not seeing a lot of moisture. I'm not seeing this mayonnaise. No, I'm not. I'm not tasting it either. It's very discreet. I don't think there's any mayonnaise in this. I think what they've probably done, because I've bitten into mine now, I think what they've done is they've got the pulled pork and mixed it in with the mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. No, wasn't that the marinade? They had a marinade just like, oh, goodness gracious. It is a nice alternative to a sandwich. It is very nice. Pulled pork tastes a bit tuna-ish. Tastes a bit like tuna. I'm not getting that. No? No. No. You like a spicy tuna. But I am disappointed that... This... Oh, wow, the bottom of your wrap is... There's a lot of gaps in here. It's, it's... Oh, I think we need to show the camera that. That's... <laughs> I mean, that's probably about half of your wrap, isn't it? If there's nothing in there. <laughs> I mean, it's just sort of... Oops, there's even less in it now. There's just nothing in it. No. No, I mean... For 400, what was it, 78 calories? I want a bit more filling than that. Yeah, I don't think that's 478 calories worth, I think. <clears throat> it... Most of that's lettuce. Mm. Yeah, because even further down where it feels a bit thicker. Oh, that's just wrap. Yeah. So what's your favourite sandwich? Now, I like them all for different reasons. Mm. The wrap's nice because it's different, it's alternative. The first one, I quite like because the bread makes it easier to eat. What was the next one? The pigs under blankets. They did it. That was a banging sausage. It was. And for me personally, the cheese and cram the cranberry and brie is a nice change. Yeah. Because I usually, like I say, I wouldn't, that wouldn't be my go-to. It'd be like, oh, cranberry. And then I wouldn't If you get... had to choose one of those to be on your meal deal, which would you choose? Probably the wrap. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Which one do you reckon you're least likely to choose? Probably the brie and cranberry. But that's yeah, because... Same. That's because... because it's, it's so subtle. Well, that, although I would I would be prepared to try it toasted. Um, but again, if I'm going for a meal deal, like I've, like I've said, I'm going more for less. Yeah. So I want the most filling and... and that's what I tend to do. I tend to see what looks like the most filling, the most... Happy chocolate. 
I might finish off my other bits first. I might even let you have my chocolate. I'll leave that there for a minute. But yeah, I think it's it's a nice selection. Mm. Um, but some are very disappointing. Yeah, the Yule Hog Wrap, I think, is the winner today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's another chunk of meat in there. It is a small chunk. But I didn't get any of the mayonnaise, so, uh... Shall we say goodbye? Yeah, I think so. We'll, um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, love you, bye!